What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate, reverse rants, no hate. So now let me jump right into this video. I was watching an interview with Tyson Fury. And Tyson Fury said something um, that has me looking at him kind of shaky. In terms of like, I, I don't know if he, I, I don't know if sometimes he, he, he has fears and he has to boost himself up to believe that he can win. I don't know if he just go go through things mentally, emotionally. Um, in the past, he showed the same. He said the same kind of things. I mean, remember when he uh, fought Klitschko, and then in the build up to the rematch, Klitschko told him, "Don't worry. Last time, you won, but I know what I did wrong. Trust me, it won't happen again. I'll be ready in the rematch. I promise you." Klitschko says, hey, well, I hope you are ready. Maybe you will knock me out so I can go ahead and retire. You know, I, I've done all I can do anyway in boxing. Klitschko was the first credible name he had on his resume. So I definitely didn't agree with that. But him saying that, I'm thinking, what do you mean? Maybe you, you, you'll knock me out so I can go ahead and retire. Like, okay, Tyson's, he's, what, 30 now? Or something like that? Early 30s, whatever, okay. So he was only in his 20s then. Late 20s then. Now, he says, he was asked about fighting Dillian White. He said he would be willing to drop the WBC title if he was forced to fight Dillian White. He, he, he doesn't matter to him because belts don't make him. Titles don't mean anything to him because I, I got all of them. I've had every one of them, so they don't mean anything to me. This is the same guy that kept constantly telling, I'm the lineal champion, I'm the lineal champion, I'm the lineal champion. Which is not even a belt, it's just a title. So basically, I caught wind of something where it was said that, well, Tyson Fury may be elevated to franchise champion, and then Dylan White would just be regular WBC. Now, if you understand what the franchise champion is, it's not even a belt. It's not even something you win. You are a appointed, right? And there's sanctioning fees and all that for it, but there's no physical belt. So if you're a franchise champion and you lose, the person that beats you don't win your franchise champion status. It has to be appointed to you. This is crap, man. And Canelo, they, you know, he's the first one that they did this with, and he's saying it, it gives him immunity to go from whatever weight class he wants to. How does this work for Tyson Fury? Because heavyweights don't go down. They don't go up. This just basically gives you an escape route to not fight guys that you don't want to fight. Because if he's going to say, even, okay, let's say if Tyson Fury, if that happened and he accepts this, I'm franchise champion, I'm representing the WBC. You're not even defending the title. Now, if you have, you have the WBC title, you can lose the physical strap, but you can't lose your franchise champion status. You're still the franchise champion. Why would you not want to fight Dillian White? Now, if Dillian White, let's say that happens, and they elevate him to franchise champion. That's why I said, if it's not a physical belt, why did what was the word elevated use? Okay, maybe just wrong, wrong, wrong way of saying it. Not on my behalf, but for those who said it. If that happens, and he drops the belt, do you make Dillian White versus Deontay Wilder? Do you make that fight? Or Dillian White versus someone else? Do you just hand Dillian White the, WB, the WBC? I have no idea, like, how this is supposed to be a good idea. I don't think this idea was well thought out. This whole franchise thing. I mean, it's like when I'm the WBC Silver Champion. What's all these different titles that mean nothing? If the WB Silver Champion meant something, then people would be happy that, hey, I'm the, I'm the Silver Champion. No. No. You're not even fighting for a franchise championship. There's no physical belt. It's just a title that's awarded to you. But the fact that it's not a physical title and you can't lose it, but there's sanctioning fees is, is weird to me. And I'm looking at this whole thing going, well, he's saying it doesn't make a difference. But if you want to fight the best fighters out there, why wouldn't you want to fight Dillian White? Why would you be okay with dropping the belt? Now, they said because... Dillian White won his case in court against the WBC that Fury would have to fight him before he fight Joshua, not Wilder. 
So he beats Wilder. He has to fight Dillian White. If Fury was to drop that title so he wouldn't have to fight White, I don't see how you couldn't lose respect for him for doing that. What, what, was, what is the purpose for not fighting White? So if you're not going to fight White, other than Joshua, who I mean, who else is there for you to fight that's a worthy opponent? Like, I mean, why why would you not want to fight Billy and White? So basically, how are you being elevated from having a physical strap to say I'm representing the WBC, but I can't lose my franchise champion status? The history books is not going to recognize this. What? This is not I me. Mean, so it's like somewhat like being a lineal champion. Certain way, because it's no physical title. And I mean, I have, have you ever heard somebody say two time lineal champion? No, I've heard two time WBC, two time IBA, IBF, WBA. I've never heard of a two time, three time lineal champion. I don't understand this whole thing. I, I understood what Mauricio Suleiman explained. I just don't understand how he and his team think that this is a good idea. Um, his vision of what this championship is, is ridiculous to me. I don't like it. I don't like it. It is what it is. But for Fury to say that, I'm like, what is wrong with this guy? Like, why does he keep talking so shaky? Like, he, he he's saying he doesn't have a problem with losing it the WBC because belts don't make him. He's a champion regardless. So what are you going to drop the belt and then brag and say, I never lost the belt. I gave it up. Why? Why would you not want to fight Dillian White? I mean, if he just said, no, there's no reason why I don't want to fight Dillian White. Dillian White's a worthy opponent. I want to fight Dillian White. I mean, you know, think about it. We still haven't had AJ Pulev. We haven't had AJ and um, Yusick. So we haven't had Fury Wilder 3. In the meantime, what is Dillian White supposed to do? You know, why does Dillian White have to keep proving himself? For anyone to be, you know, Mauricio Suleiman said you have to, through the years, you have through the years, you have to been showing that you're dedicated to the sport of boxing and that you 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 have this passion and you 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 you're a champion and you you you're winning. Well, how could you elevate Tyson Fury? He's not even had one title defense. So for that to even be said, well, you know, he could be elevated to 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 franchise champion. Now, how are you elevated? How are you elevated? I could go to the store right now and buy a championship belt, right? Lose 50 times, and every time I come to the ring, got this belt around my waist and hold it up because it's mine and I paid for it and I'm not giving it to you. The franchise champion is even is, is not even a physical strap. It's just a title that's given to you. Y'all heard me, right? You can't win the title. You can't you can't win it if you lose a fight. You don't lose that 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 title. That it, it it it's awarded to you. A title, a verbal, a title, not a physical title. So how do you? Well, I don't understand how you elevate it, and the fact that there's a sanctioning fee for it. It is like what? I don't I don't get it. Canelo can go up and down in weight. Fury can't. But do you have to be franchise champion to decide you want to go to another division? Since when? Is there a rule saying, well, if you fight for the WBC, you can't go up in different weight classes? Is there a rule that says that you can't? So what purpose is this? And they're saying you don't know what weight class that he's going to fight at. Or, okay, so if that's the case... For somebody who can choose what weight class they want to go in, they can also, you know, dip and dodge and, 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 and avoid certain fighters. And to me, I could see more fighters using this whole franchise champion nonsense as a way to escape fighting certain fighters. And the fact of the matter is, if you're going to award it to people, and who, who, okay, so you have Canelo, who else? I mean, Lomachenko. Who are you going to look at? Pop, guys that are popular or guys that who's been busting their butt. Dylan White has a better resume than Tyson Fury. I mean, the only advantage Tyson Fury has is that he's 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 undefeated. But I mean, how can I mean how 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 does this how does this work for the division? 
So I'm going to drop the belt. Let's say he does that. I'm going to drop the belt so I don't have to fight Dillian White, but I'm now the franchise champion. So what does that mean? You can just pick and choose who you want to fight. That gives you immunity over any other fighter? What, do you get to choose the stipulations? Of what, I, mean, what I, mean, I don't understand how this is a plus for boxing, especially for heavyweights. I don't. But listening to what Fury said made me look at him. I'm like, why is this guy always talking about? Now you're saying belts don't make you who you are and I'm a champion with or without a belt. And, but you were the same guy that constantly kept talking about lineal champion, lineal champion, lineal champion. It's not a, 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 a title you beat and win and put it around your waist. It's something that, I mean, so he's a lineal champion. That means if, 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 if Tyson Fury retired right now, there's no more lineal champion. So they have to award someone new. Has to be a lineal champion from certain situations, fights that they win or whatever. It's like, you know, so how do you just play pick and choose? How do you pick and choose who the next lineal champion is going to be? Okay, we go to a boxer, we give him the offer. He can say no, he don't have to take it. But should he take it, he has the opportunity to fight in different divisions and he's representing us as the WBC. So basically... You could have a situation, let's just say, for example, if, if, if just say Caleb Plant says, I want to fight Canelo. I want him next. Let's say, let's say Caleb Plant is the mandatory for the physical WBC, right? Just say. But Canelo decides, I don't want to fight Caleb Plant. I want to go down a division and fight such and such. What happens? Caleb Plant just has to wait. You understand what I'm saying? Like it, 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 the way that this thing is working. They're saying it's not favoritism, but for someone to be awarded something over other fighters, you're saying that they showed through the year that they did this, they did that. Well, at least for Canelo, he's had a he's had title defenses. He's won titles in different divisions. Tyson Fury has. He only has Deontay Wilder on his resume as a credible name. And he hasn't had any, not one defense yet. So to even say he may be possibly elevated to franchise champion is beyond me. Um, I don't like it. I don't see it as a plus. See, I, I really don't. They have to They have to work on this plan and, and, and add some things to it. Because the way it is now, it sucks. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say on this video. And I will catch y'all on the next one.